Good afternoon, one and all. Uh, we are gathered here for a small discussion about the career opportunities in different studies, importance of different studies, as well as about many current issues that is going on around the world, as well as issues within in our own country. To discuss about this, we have amongst us Major Madan Kumar, who happens to be our advisor and consultant for the department, and he will be giving answers to many of your questions pertaining to the topic. Over to you, Major Sir. Thank you, Sir. Uh, it's been a great time to be here uh, with the department at different studies. So, looking forward to interact with all of you so we can start the questions. Sir. I have a question about the careers. How to set a career goal to give some tips to successful career members? Okay. See, career goal uh, is one thing you need to uh, look at. Like, I want to become a pilot, for example. I feel that I want to be a pilot. I want to fly. Will the industry, is the aviation industry doing good now? It is not. There are already enough of pilots. The airlines are shutting now. So, is it we are good to make a career as a pilot? That's it. So, look at the market. What all things are going today? What all things are going today? One is, uh, if you look at IT, Java and all is gone. People speak more about Python, machine learning, artificial intelligence. So, even within IT sector, only those sectors are moving at a very fast rate. If you look at other careers, retail, online, e commerce is going at a faster rate. Okay. If you look at uh, government jobs, government jobs are more or less stable. But this year uh, we have got a announcement from the government. Government is going to recruit 10,000, 10 lakh people if I am not okay. 10 lakh vacancies are going to be filled. So this is a chunk of the opportunity where you can see. Okay, I want a secured job. I want a you know secured uh, this thing. So these are the five opportunities which is available for me. Or you say I want a career abroad. Whichever country you want to go, you need to go what is there. Then now align with what you like and what you don't like. For example, there is a shortage of hotel uh, industry in India. But I don't like medicine. I don't like planning. There is no point in looking at that thing. What is available in the spectrum? What is your own interest? What you are good at? Try to align one or two. Fix those two. One which is primary and one if this fails you have to go to the other. So I'll plan your career and then start moving with the uh, pace. Question is about uh, placement opportunities after finishing BA, sir, and uh, uh, private jobs. Apart from public jobs, we uh, apart from different sector, what are the job opportunities and career opportunities in uh, private sector sir, for different careers? Sir? See, you have to uh, see this carefully. Earlier, UPSC, civil services, people either used to do BA history or BA English because most of the main papers uh, they already study. A study load is less. So right from college they used to prefer and more. Now UPSC also has changed the syllabus vastly. They speak a lot about geopolitics, defense and security and uh, all these aspects. So definitely BA defense uh, studies will give you edge for UPSC, for Army, Navy, Air Force, Combined Defense Services Examination, AFCAD, Air Force Examination. Specialized this is going to give you definitely give you an advantage. Compared to the, uh, your counterpart in the BCom or BA English or BA Literature, History kind of course, clearly. Second is, uh, you can grow as a different journalist. There is a huge potential for different journalists in India. I can count hardly few quality different journalists who are available in India. So, you can do your BA in different studies. MSc or MA in journalism uh, and then you become a different journalist. I would example, for example, Nathan Gokhale is a very, very good uh, different journalist. But really study difference? No. There is no studies of them. Today now you have studies. So different journalism is one good course that you can actually take. Third is you can do, become a research associate. All the big consultancy firms like KPMG, Deloitte. So the government doesn't do everything on its own. So government will say, okay, uh, we have a, we want to study China. What is the Chinese influence on India? How do Chinese think about India or Indians think about China, right? So they will hire a company which will do a research on it. So you need research associates who knows about China, who knows about national defense, 
uh, who has done geopolitics, who understands what is different studies. So BA different studies, MSc different studies or MA different studies and then you do a, become a research fellow. Or a research fellow you can from research, either you can take a professor home, go into a university, become a professor or if you don't want to go into a teaching line, you can be a research associate who can work as a research associate in a company. It really pays you well. A lot of foreign organizations uh, uh, hire for India. Even the three days before I saw one uh, requirement where it was yeah, they need uh, five years of uh, different studies. The salary was around uh, 80 dollars per hour or something. So they are doing some research in India. The Canadian company wants to do some research in India. So you can look at that as a career. If you look at uh, a very different uh, thing, the different journalism in print media is there, but in YouTube it's already there. You can think of starting your own channel. Lot of people, it really runs well. But you need to be an expert, you need to know what questions to ask. Uh, you can conduct uh, interviews, so you can speak about different you can uh, take uh, that as a thing. That is more intimate. All you require is all you require is a camera. That's it. To start with, then you can slowly uh, pick up. You can also do your higher studies abroad with a good scholarship and then plan your career abroad also. So, this is a major career opportunity which are available for different studies as of now. Things will change and evolve as we do. And you can also look at uh, industrial security. So a lot of, uh, because as the industry grows, every industry has a security manager. So mostly the security managers come from Army, Navy and Air Force. But there is a shortage of manpower. So you, you guys can think of coming into a, a industrial security. Because security, whether it is nation or industry, it's the concept is same. How do you do it is different. So you can do some skill certifications uh, in CCTVs, in factory security, safety. And then you can take up a factory role. There are hundreds of factories available in Chennai. You can plan a career there also. Sir, is the course is suitable to launching pad for uniform and civil services? See, definitely yes. I saw your syllabus. Most of the syllabus, what you study here, uh, will be useful for your preparation for UPSC and uh, even for uh, other paramilitary exams. Okay, not only Army, Navy, Air Force, even for CASF, the basics are uh, same. So you can use this as a preparation for the university, definitely to give you edge. The difference in strategic studies unique from other graduation courses, possibly. Possibly this is the only study uh, apart from history uh, or political science where you study about a country. Engineering teaches about one particular skill. Okay, so this gives you a holistic picture of this gives you a holistic picture of the entire country, geopolitics, you study about past, present and you also study about what is going to happen in the future. So that makes this course very unique. Sir, you have chosen to be advisor for our department. May I know why you choose what department I am using, sir? This is the youngest department of the university. I have a very, very high respect for the university. Right from my, my college time, I wanted to join. For a private university, I wanted to join this university. The management is very, very reputed. They put a lot of interest in terms of uh, student development. This university has been growing continuously. I have seen a lot of uh, engineering colleges. They start and then they shut off. Most of the colleges get shut off or they go, they stagnant, stagnant. Here, this university is growing because a lot of activities are happening. The management is very, very keen uh, in terms of developing the students' education. So, from being a college, it has become a research institute. Uh, soon it will become a much bigger entity in terms of education. That is one. Second is this department is very, very young. You've got a very, very dynamic, good faculty. Uh, faculties, your uh, professors, your HOD, they take a lot of interest in this uh, place. So I personally see if I have to make a change or if I have to mark my presence, that place has to be uh, firstly adaptive. Firstly, they also wanted to, it's always given them. The students should also be interested. Otherwise, I keep speaking, but it's not that. So this is a young department, uh, already grown up department you can't do much, it's a brand new department, so we can do a lot of things and this is the time where we set the uh, pace and in future 
when you people come for your silver jubilee, you may have to pay the wages. So by then, this department would be possibly the number one in the country. Of course. To set that pace, the foundation, this is the right one. That's why I took this image to be another So thank you so much. Very uh, interesting questions. So uh, all you need to do is focus on college is fun, life is fun, you should enjoy. But uh, it also comes with some sort of responsibility. Right? So do well. Uh, keep this university's flag high and keep the department flag high. All the best, Jane.